Hey guys, it's me again. Look, I know I say bad words like a lot. I don't necessarily consider it blasphemy as proprietor societal standards, not biblical doctrine, to be completely honest with you. But when it comes to people who want to end their own life, look, Lord knows in the past I attempted to end my own life because... I've lost so many friends and family to car accidents. It's beyond me. I lost my friend Skylar back in 2015. Coincidentally, that's the same year I graduated high school. And I lost my closest friend that I grew up playing with. I even went over his house to play football with him growing up. He died last year, car accident. And then when I was in school, I was like, that could have been me. Why couldn't have it been me? I should have died in that accident. I got nothing to live for, to be honest. And I honestly had nothing to live for at that point. I mean, basically by this point, back then, I wanted to basically end my own life. Just fuck the world, fuck this, fuck that, and fuck everything else. By that point, me and my mom were not getting along at all. I hated her. I wanted her dead. Not by me. I didn't want to kill her. But if she got into a car wreck or anything, I'd be like, good rinse to an asshole. My hatred of my own mama basically just went out of control. And I basically lashed out and just said, I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. Basically, it was typical emo teenage angst. I wanted her her gone. That was almost like losing a best friend, a part of a family. And how did I repay her kindness? By telling her to end her own life. Look, if you have a parent at home, tell them that you love, love them, and just be honest with them. Just be honest with them. Just tell them, why do you want to express yourself in terms of fashion? Just tell them. My family right now is at the point where we're getting along now, so there's no need to worry. Some days we argue, but don't act like it's the end of the world. If you got emotional stuff go going on, just keep it to yourself. Just settle it like a real family. Don't sit here and act like it's Fight Club or Mortal Kombat. Just have a honest sit down and a conversation for once. Don't sit here and act like y'all are at each other's throats all the time. Don't sit here and go whining to Dr. Phil. <sighs> oh, shit. What do I have to say next? <sighs> Sir, if you're watching this, I'm just not what you call a stereotypical Christian. There's a lot of things in this world I am so infuriated about it's beyond me I'm just so angry at the world that people make stupid choices that the world is in complete chaos right now like Gen like the rock band Genesis said it's a land of confusion and the metal band Disturbed did a cover song of it I, re I recommend y'all go check that out it really hits home. Just listen to it. Listen to the lyrics. And trust me, you y'all will not be disappointed. The, the song Land of Confusion, it's true. Too many people making too many problems. Please. 
Just listen. Just be honest with your family. Just be honest. At least y'all can do is just be open and honest about everything. Look, Bible teaches us to love our enemies. And I'll say it in my adulcet tone. Show compassion to your enemies, even if they don't show compassion towards you. You still have to show compassion towards your enemies. And I'm going to bring up something that may sound familiar. Turn the other cheek. Just ignore. If somebody ag ags you on in school, just ignore them. Just ignore them like they're yesterday's trash. Just ignore them. To be honest with you. So anyway, if this hits home to y'all. Anyway, I'm going to be. Anyway, if y'all can join me in silent prayer. I pray for myself, my family, Sierra, and those who, who are watching this video. I pray for those who are struggling. I pray for those who are surviving in this dark world we live in. Lord, I just pray that you would keep us all safe, whether it be emotional, financial, or spiritually, Lord. Just but just keep them blessed and keep them safe, Lord. In your holy name, I pray to you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Anyway, hope y'all do enjoy this video. Please do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do follow me on Amino and TikTok. And yes, it's okay to branch out every now and then. I'll see y'all next video.